Hello, everybody. Princess and the Bear here. And we're at... Okie West. Yeah, so we've been here in a while. This place is open again. Yes. Which means, as a reopen resort, it's time for some reopen food. We are going to Olivia. Yes, it's been a long time since we've been. We want to see what's on our limited menu because we are hungry. And it is a local favorite. Yes. And as always, remember, if you're hungry, it's already too late to watch this video. We have more below. <laughs> Be sure to conk, 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 conk. You heard the rest. <laughs> Woman and her copper cups. But she's a princess, so she gets what she wants. Oh, God. It's so gingery. It's like a liquid ginger snap. Two out of five paws. I don't see a problem with that. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna wait now. They're gonna spicy mark. It probably would taste better if I'd had that before the mule. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's just not my jam at all. That's for this spicy poblano margarita. I had a floating in it, which I was expecting. Ooh. Oh, it's so spicy, it gave me the chills. Look at that goose bump. Three out of five pounds. So it looks like avocado, beets, watermelon, arugula, sunflower seeds. Yes. Wow. That's quite flavorful. Beet is seasoned all the way through. There's two different kinds in there. It's not just like your standard beet, it's like whatever this is. I thought it was watermelon, but it's not. Maybe it's a different color beet. But whatever this is, I like this a lot. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. And it was so good. It's like cilantro and lime and avocado cream and with this arugula and sunflower seeds, it's just like a really good this is a really good app. I like this. Good salad. It's an interesting mixture. Things I would never think to put together arugula and beets. Sunflower. There's sauce here. Mm. How they season and cook it cuts right through that like dirt beet taste. It's just a quite refreshing salad. It sits light, but it's full of flavor and super easy on down. I would honestly make this at home if I was ever going to cook beets again and I'm never going to do that. I'm not telling that story. Three and a half out of five plus. You sound bad. A little bit. No, I'm not explaining that. It's just not going to happen. There's going to be a lot of likes for me to explain that story. Like, 50. Right now, the 
second option on the menu is a Beyond Burger. But if you talk to the chef, they can actually make you something custom here. They do a lot of custom vegan food here at Olivia's. So I got a beautiful tofu stir fry because I was feeling the tofu, and why not? It also had pasta. But I'm going with this veggies. It smells amazing. It's hot. I should have let it cool a little longer. But it's really delicious. It's like seasoned all the way through, which is what's important. Really. So, I love this. And the tofu. It's silken, but not too soft to where I'm like, no, no, it's, it's actually seasoned and delicious, so this is a win. I will come back for this. So the last thing I was expecting them to offer the princess was a tofu stir fry. But I will say the presentation looks great. The portion size is massive. I don't think she's going to be able to eat all this. But I appreciate them putting it together. The veggies, the fresh cilantro. It smells like stir fry. Mmm. It's really good. It's fresh, not too oily. The veggies and everything pair well together with the cilantro on top. It is really, really good. For something that he made in 20 minutes, I'm impressed. Four and a half out of five plus. Now because I've had the fried chicken here before, fried pickles, strawberries, only some strawberries and chicken and waffles. I've never understood that. Strawberries are good, that's why. Wow. The chicken, nice and moist. The breading is good. The waffle is really sweet. But the pickle at the end, the little tart, just bites right through. It's great. All three together, you have to take it. It's meant to be eaten all together. I love it. I decided to try something different. We got their Duval burger, which is shrimps and pico de gallo with avocado on top of a burger with uh, some pepper jack cheese. She just breaks her open with the shrimp here tries to escape. Don't worry. He isn't getting anywhere. That cross section now. The cheese and the pico with the avocado. You just see where the shrimp escaped. It's gonna be a good bite. It's definitely like a complex sort of pairing of foods, but the way the, sh the shrimp is seasoned with the burger, the cheese and the pico actually work quite well together. It's very rich. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this whole thing in one sitting, but it's definitely worth getting. I'll give it a four out of five plus. Didn't want to interrupt your movie. That's for this fresh made slaw. It's definitely fresh. So it's peppered. Mm. Got a right amount of crunch. It's just on the verge of too soggy, but it's still got its crunch. Give it two and a half out of five points. I eat this. So, that was dinner at Olivia's. It was, it was great. I would say the quality of the food has improved. 
Um, this is the, the Olivia's experience that we've always heard about, but never actually got to experience. Yes. So this has been great. It felt like coming to dinner at your friend's house. Yeah, which is really how nice. it's supposed to be, which is why it's a local favorite. I don't. I think we just got people, either chefs or waiters on bad days, but today it was excellent. made up for all of it. Chef Steven was awesome. Yes, thank you for coming by. Thank you, Chef night. Steven. Uh, we definitely thought something to fit both of our palates. And I accidentally ordered mango and been having a very, very bad night had I not talked to the chef first. I know, Chef Steven said mango ketchup. Like, yeah. really? Weirdness. Remember, if you have allergies, always, 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 always ask for the chef. Always. You never know. It's always something weird, something random. This could be one of those nights for me. Sometimes they make you special things like stir fry so you don't have to eat a Beyond Burger for the umpteenth time. All right. But well, we want to know what was your last experience like at Olivia's. Hit us up in the comments and let us know that and other places you'd like to see us go. Yes. Hit the notification bell to get notified of other videos like this and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.